Hey, so, good morning. Listen, I had this idea of creating a video blog or whatever, um, just for the sake of uh, getting out a couple ideas I had going on in my head. This morning I'm taking my blue pit bull that I rescued for a walk. Kukui. 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 That's Kukui. He's uh, uh, being rehabilitated right now, actually. He's a little overweight and... kind of malnourished or whatever, so I took him off a friend of mine, and I'm going to get him back to health, but I had um, this funny story about something that happened last night that I kind of thought maybe I could relay, convey its humor, um, and share it with you. If it comes out funny or not, I don't know, but, so I'm out with my buddy last night at the karaoke bar, my buddy Joey, the, um, uh, half Asian, half Irish kid that was in uh, some of my pictures. He's my bandmate. He was standing on top of the, uh, on top of his van, on top of his Jeep, um, in one of the pictures I sent. So, anyway, Joey was getting really drunk and, you know, just taking shots back in. I'm usually there to, like, make sure things don't get too wild, too out of hand or whatever. So I didn't have a drop, but... Um, we go outside and Joey was like, yeah, I need, um, some money. I wanted to get some cigarettes and he didn't have enough money. And he said, well, he had like $2 in cash. He had to get his card from the bar. And when he said I only got two bucks, this guy was outside drunk, like completely drunk off his ass. And he was like, yeah, man, I'll give you, uh, you only got two bucks. I'll give you another two if you, uh, hit this girl. And I looked at this guy like, are you out of, like, who the fuck are you talking to? Like, what kind of loser are you to even say something like that? And he was talking about his girlfriend, which apparently he was upset with. And he was going around saying, dude, I'll pay somebody 50 bucks to, like, whoop her ass. And he was, like, drunk off his ass, you know, he was just a douchebag. And I was ready to give him, like, you know, tell him 40 different ways how he was, like, this douchebag, asshole, scum grimy fucker like how could you possibly get some kind of validation off somebody off the idea of somebody beating up your girlfriend like you know you suck and Joey went ape shit Joey was like ah, I'll, I'll kick your ass before I do something like that and I was like yeah man I feel you but you know don't get into anything with this crazy mofo you know just let him be sorry I'm getting tangled up in the dog right now and uh Joey just wouldn't stop he was just raging he was eating a bag of pork rinds, and he went, I'll rip your fucking skin off. And it was the funniest thing I ever heard Joey say, or any drunk guy say to another drunk guy, outside of the club or whatever. So, on the ride back home, I mean, we didn't whip the guy's ass, although we probably should have. His buddy came and, like, scooped him up, and even the, his girlfriend that he was arguing with came back and was slapping him all in the face and all of this weird stuff so on the ride back home me and Joey could not get over the fact that he said he was going to rip this guy's skin off because the, the visual was just so funny and Joey's such a nice guy that you would never expect him to say uh, anything like that it was just it was surreal so that's Joey my bandmate Joey Brennan He'll rip your skin off. Peace.